y'all. It's too early for this. Y'all have me so riled up that I haven't even showered yet. It's a day that ends with Y. So I guess it's a day where we're going to attack pattern designers for adjusting their prices for the economy. Surprise, mother truckers. The economy isn't doing well for everyone except for the billionaires. And let's just throw this out there that like this conversation has been happening in every freaking group that I'm in for bag making. And it's not that stating frustration is a bad thing. It's just that primarily these posts are turning into outright attacks on pattern makers. So before I go any further, I'm just gonna state outright that if you are one of those people that feels quite entitled to a much lower price and needs a coupon for a $5 pattern, you might wanna bounce from this video right now because you're gonna get offended. Now, some people might be wondering why is Fierce Kittens talking about this crap on YouTube because it's probably going to hurt her business. Well, I actually do not care. This is not my full-time job. I am a principal software engineer, which means that nothing that I sew is ever going to make enough money to counter that salary. Therefore, I've decided to use that privilege to speak on behalf of pattern designers everywhere who may be struggling right now to figure out how they can make ends meet. Because in case you didn't notice, prices are up everywhere. It doesn't take a doctoral degree in astrophysics to understand that if prices are up all around, then so are the costs to a business or a pattern designer, for example, just to make ends meet. And so they also have to turn around and increase prices. But instead of shaming people for their absolute entitlement, I thought I would use this seam ripping video to educate. Because Lord knows you people complaining about pattern pattern prices to your pattern designers sound just like our customers buying bags and saying, I'll just go get that at Walmart. First, let's give you a rundown of what it takes to actually make one of these bag patterns. First, we have ideation, which is gonna be a week or two, maybe even longer, depending on the designer, to figure out what the bag's gonna look like and some kind of basic measurements, scale, and possibly instructions. Next, you're gonna start iterating at home by yourself on the pattern pieces that you create and figure out how this thing's gonna come together and if it's even gonna work. That could take one iteration or it could take five or more iterations to figure out everything and get it just right. Once you think you have things in a good place, then you reel in a testing group. The testing groups can oftentimes be paid or unpaid. It really depends on the designer and their community. The thing is with the testing, you need to make sure that you have things in a place where you think it's gonna be just fine and you're getting feedback mostly on fit and some of the instructions because you don't wanna waste the material and time of all all of those testers because then your screw up is basically multiplied. Then once everything is finalized, you have to host it somewhere and promote it on social media, maybe buy out some ad revenue, but you know that stuff, isn't free. Surprise! Oh, but it doesn't stop there. Then you have to think about your e-commerce solution. Sure, you can use Etsy, but Etsy is going to cost you so much more in fees. And so when you list a pattern for like $5, really, you're only getting about $2. So let's say you're like me and you want to go to a hosting solution like Shopify. I'm paying $40 a month for my Shopify site. And on top of that, I'm paying an additional $20 a month to have access to a plugin that will allow people to log in and download their patterns anytime they want so they don't lose the link and have to email me five times a year. So optimistically, let's take my basic pattern price of $5.95, round it up to $6, take the 60 I have to sink into my website every month and divide it by that six, I now have to sell 10 patterns a month just to break even. And full disclosure, there are some months out of the year where I sell no patterns, and that's fine. Now, I haven't raised my prices yet, but that's largely because I don't live off of this and I also don't have all of the little tchotchkes that people want as add-ons to these patterns that some of the designers are putting a ton of effort into providing people. So I have absolutely no judgment or beef with anybody who does want to charge $14 or $15 for a PDF pattern. Let us not forget the rising cost of the software that's used in creating these patterns. I use Adobe Creative Cloud. 
tons of people use Adobe Creative Cloud. It is $50 a month to have a subscription so that you can access Illustrator, Photoshop, and in design. So for keeping tallies out here, I now have to sell 18.33333 repeating, of course, patterns a month to break even. Ah, but I also just got a subscription to Clothe 3D, did the yearly subscription, so that's another $30 a month just to make a bag pattern. So now we're up to 23.33333 repeating, of course. Patterns sold a month to break even at Fierce Kitten Studio. Now a lot of that's on me. Clothe 3D is a little bit on the fancy side. So if you lop that off, you're still looking at 50 bucks a month just for Creative Cloud. And if you're not a well-known pattern designer, you're kind of screwed unless you're going to put a ton of money into advertising and self-promotion and all those lovely little Facebook groups. But let's also take a look at all of the things that people expect us to deliver now as pattern designers. People will outright refuse to purchase a pattern if it doesn't include these things. Actually, some people will outright say it has to include all of them, which I think is just mother flipping bonkers. Let's see, we have all pieces or measurements for rectangular pieces must be included. Pictures and illustrations, craft cutter files, laser cutter files, projection files, full videos of the construction process. I actually kind of agree with that, to be honest. It's helpful for the visual learners several design options or hacks, cut lists, and personal assistance with making the bag pattern. I quite literally had someone angrily contact me through my website and demand that I call her and walk her through making a bag. I don't get paid enough for this shit. So for any pattern designer that's actually doing this for their job and needs to support their family and continue to stay in business, I absolutely understand why they're raising their prices. Let's take cut files, for example. Whether it's a craft cutter or a laser cutter, you need to test all of those to make sure that they're going to work before you ship them out. That means testing materials, testing the machines, having access to the machines. Uh, and what about the videos? I have a very good production quality setup in here. That's because I've been Twitch streaming for about eight years now and doing content on YouTube since 2020 because we had nothing else to do that year. But some people just aren't that tech savvy, nor do they have the ability to record video at the quality that people are demanding now. So to those people who are voicing their frustrations on the pattern prices increasing all around in this industry, it's okay to feel upset about this. It's no different than complaining about bread prices going up in the grocery store. What's not okay is attacking pattern designers and accusing them of being greedy. Point blank, if you want the laundry list of crap that everybody is demanding right now that comes with a pattern and not charge a separate fee as an add-on to the pattern, then hey, surprise, the price is gonna be a little higher. So economics 101 for some of you people out there, if you don't like the price of something, don't buy it. Vote with your wallet, walk away, go buy something that's cheaper but similar. Or, hey, here's an idea, learn how to make it yourself and then you'll understand once you've walked a mile in our shoes. Anyway, I'm just gonna close this out with asking everybody to kind of take a chill pill and sit back and take in the information that I've given you on what all goes into pattern making just at a super angry high level overview. And one thing you could do is just imagine how you would feel if somebody came up to you and said that they didn't want to pay $50 for that handbag that you spent four hours making because they could buy it somewhere else for half the cost. I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. It feels like crap. Anyway, let's have a nice little discussion in the comments section below. I'll see you next time, hopefully with an actual sewing video and not a rant.